guys it's your boy simon and today we are in oka city and this city became the capital state of anambra on 21st august 1991 after the creation of anambra and enugu state which moved from enugu to oka and now we are in oka city to explore its city so come along with me guys as we go Oka is one of the oldest settlements in Igbo land. This city has a certain kind of aura about it because it was a place of the blacksmiths that created implements which made agriculture possible. The earliest settlers of Oka were the Ifetina people, which is roughly translated as the people who sprouted the earth. These people were renowned as farmers, hunters, and adapt iron workers, all of whom indigenously inhabited the banks of the Ogugu stream in what is known currently as the Nkwele ward of the city. In ancient times, Oka was populated by elephants in a way that a section of the town was named as Ama Eni. The elephants were hunted for their prized ivory tusks, which is known as Okike, which were kept as a symbol to the god Okanube in every Oka home, with hunting medicine stored in the hollow of the tusks. In recent times, Oka city has been a fast developing city and a lot of things has changed in this city. While arriving the city, I noticed that the city has the same design of its flyovers. Transportation in this town is either by a minibus or a tricycle. Now these tricycles have a limited road where they can operate and if they go against their limitations, there is a force positioned along the roads to bring them to other. This force comprises of masked men and some of them are with guns. Honestly, when I first saw these men, they were scary looking. This is the Porter Bridge in Oka. The surprising thing is that the tricycle can't move through this area so normally they don't go through the main road like the, the, the federal highways they don't uh, go to the federal highway so they have to go to like streets and then other local roads but through this way if they eventually enter to this way they will, when they are being caught they are being given a fine of about 50k so most of the tricycles are all the all the tricycles don't go through this way it's only private cars, buses and uh, lorries that go through this way. In terms of cleanliness, I will give the city a 60%. Their roads are not totally good. Most of the streets are very bad, but most of the federal roads are good. I pray the government is able to repair these roads. The first place we checked in was the Alex Equime Stadium, which is a sports stadium for all who wish to use it for sports activities. The stadium is old but neatly kept and has security guarding this area. <laughs> we took some pictures and headed to the next location, which is the estate where the rich stay the Gozika estates and the type of houses we saw here were mind-blowing. This estate has securities in its entrance who will have to check and question you. The lands are well plotted as an estate should be. Buildings are very big and beautiful and this is another proof that the Igbo man is money made. This is the estate where the rich live here in in uh, Oka, which is in Anambra state, and I'm taking you around to see all the beautiful houses that were built by Igbo men. So these houses are like, as you can see, they are very, very beautiful. Wow, like people really have money. We are talking about uh, the economy going down, but people are really building houses. And most of these houses that you see, they are just new, new houses. And I'm really, really astonished. Like I said, the Igbo men have money, believe it or not. The Igbo men, they really, they, they really do have money. So, as you can see, this one is a new one, and 
it's, it's already finished already just can see you can see another beautiful one so this is like the town the oka town which is the capital of anambra and they have like beautiful places see the beautiful places see beautiful streets and houses and these houses cost like millions of nairas millions of nairas honestly wow i'm really really i'm, I'm really really enjoying these views that i'm getting here Although, as you know, normally we don't really have the access to enter inside, but I'm showing you this place so you know how you know the beautiful part of Oka, and this is where the rich live. As you guys all know, I'm dedicating myself to show you the beauty of our country Nigeria most especially the Igbo land and as you can see this, this is like the beautiful part of the Igbo land wow guys can you see that can you see how beautiful this is this is the Ngozi estate Ngozi Ka estate in Oka Anambra state Looks as if it's a policeman that has his house. I can see police flag. This is the estate of the rich. It's like the phase one, I'll be the phase two of it. Phase two. Okay, this is the phase two. Okay, the one that we came inside is the phase one. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.